I think I told you this story. I know I told Carl, and I'll repeat what he said. The first time I ever came to the Opry, my mom and dad brought me when I was about 14 or 15. My mother fell totally in love with Carl Smith that night. Oh, he was dressed so sharp. I remember his band was dressed in red shirts and, and cream-colored pants, and he had on a cream-colored suit with a red tie. My mother would have gone to the hotel with him. And <laughs> song that night. I told Carl that one time. I said, Carl, my mother fell in love with you. He said, well, she has good taste. <laughs> Isn't it something to know that Bill Anderson is Carl Smith's love child? <laughs> I was already 14 years old. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll tell you an example, though, exactly how, how great big Carl Smith was. I, uh, back in the uh, middle 80s, uh, 84, 85, I was working with Cal Smith at that time. And we all know how, I mean, Cal had some great big old records with Country Bumpkin and all these all those other songs that he, Lord knows I'm drinking, all this stuff. And I swear... <laughs> Every night, I, if it if it didn't go by every night that somebody didn't introduce him as Carl Smith, <laughs> every night, man, it was unbelievable, man. Cal, um, Carl had us on a bluegrass album that he did one time, and uh, he came up, he came up to me, oh, I'm six or eight months later, we played I think Toledo, and he said, you know what, I'm thinking about quitting this country stuff that I'm doing. He said, do you think I can get a job playing the guitar with you guys? <laughs> I said, well, uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. And at that time, uh, Gene's husband, Benny, was playing the guitar. We had no, we had no thoughts at all about <laughs> Benny leaving us. And, and I thought, what am I going to say to this guy? This is Carl Smith we're talking about here. <laughs> you know? And I said, you got to be kidding. No, I'm not. I'm dead serious about that. And you know what? The last time I saw him was about, I don't know, three or four years ago. We were back over there, and he said, you know, I'd still like to play the guitar with you guys. <laughs> God, I love him, though. Always do. You know, Bill, you were talking, or actually, Goldie was talking about how big Carl was in those days, in the early 50s, and talking about Hank Williams and Lefty Frizzell. I had Carl on my evening show on WSM for an interview in honor of his 70th birthday a few years ago. And he made the statement to me. He said, you know, I sold more records than Hank Williams did. And I got to thinking about that. And if you think about that, as big a legend as Hank Williams is, that's a pretty powerful statement. But I've been collecting records since I was a little kid. And I don't care what used record store you go into or flea market, if they have country 78s, there's going to be a lot of Carl Smith records in there. Very rarely will you find Hank Williams records. Carl was a monster seller. And it's a disgrace that he's not in the Country Music Hall of Fame. I agree with that. How about a song from uh, Mrs. Carl? Oh, me. <laughs> Carl said I had nerve to, do, to be out here today. Because all these young people, I haven't performed since Carl and I got married, and that was 1957. <laughs> so if I'm in the wrong key and hit, get offbeat and hit sharp and flat, you say, well, that old girl can't sing. <laughs> You but had a lot of success is, as a singer. This is a song that uh, Gene Shepard, we were talking, and Jan, you know, about the girl singers and so forth. Hey, I like being the only girl in the band. <laughs> What's it just took one of us to do what it took all those guys to do? See? <laughs> but this was the second uh, I Let the Stars Get in My Eyes, which is the answer to a song that Ray Price had, Don't Let the Stars Get in Your Eyes, because me and Kitty Wells, we was, you know, we was good at doing these answer things. And I don't know how good I was, but she was great. But this is what I did in 1954. I let the stars get in my eyes, I let the moon steal my heart. What could I do but give to him my love so dear Now he's the only one I'm thinking of Too many miles Too many days Too many nights I was alone His love was so grand when he held my hand Moonlight lures you on I let the stars get in my eyes I let the moon steal my heart You've been gone so long I couldn't stay at home What could I do but give him my love so dear Now he's the only one I'm thinking of
moonlighters you want